a pleasant day dear tourists i am your tour guide for today jimbo clemente and welcome to benguet hello everyone i'm zian and i will be discussing the traditional dance in bakong benguet hey everyone i am princess jinti hulata Hello, I'm Mika Laita Sakta and today I will be discussing traditional songs and dances of Pitogon and Kabayan. So good morning to everyone, my name is Hashli Agustin and I will be discussing to you one of the traditional dances in Mangkayan Bingat. Hello everyone, I am Patricia and I will be discussing the traditional songs and dances in Sablan, Tuba and Tublay. Indonesia also has many beautiful natural landscapes, many of which may be found in the province of Benguet. Benguet is located in the north of Luzon near the southernmost point of the Cordillera Administrative Region. It is known as the Salad Bowl of the Philippines because it is a major supplier of the nation's fresh produce. Benguet offers a welcome respite from the hustle and bustle of the city with its beautiful mountain vis vistas, calm ambience, and a cool breeze. The place where strawberries and vegetables are produced is La Trinidad, the capital of Benguet. For a reasonable sum, visitors to the farm can enjoy the convenience of picking their own bunches of the freshest veggies and strawberries. A must-try strawberry-flavored dessert is Strawberry Taho, which is a hot silken tofu with sweet syrup and sago pearls. Strawberry ice cream and jam are also available in La Trinidad, which is known for its abundance of strawberries. Ato, bakun, bokod, bugyas, itogon, kabayan, kapangan, kibungan, La Trinidad, mangkanyan, sablan, tuba, and tublay are among the 30 municipalities that make up Benguet. Also, the town of La Trinidad, itogon, sablan, and tuba surround the highly urbanized city of Baguio, which is located in the province interior, despite being administratively separate from Benguet. In the municipality of Bacon, one of the northern towns in Benguet, only the Talak and Ganay dances perform. In order to replicate the gongs beat, the musical instruments are fashioned of wood in various sizes. The idea behind it is to have fun without having to carry out the requisite procedures. The holiness of using the gongs for amusement is the reason for this. The employment of kalak, according to the article's author, is a technique to evade elders' restrictions on how to use the gong. Kabayan Traditional Dance Benjun Dance is a traditional circle dance symbolizing the unity and harmony of the community. While historical versions of this dance featured entire villages, many modern versions have smaller numbers of participants. The dancers collectively move their arms in various patterns. The distinctive arms and hands positions and movements symbolizes meanings. Independence and freedom are the interpretation of putting the arms in lateral position. With the arm movement, it can mean two things. First, if arms are raised with the palm facing skyward with your head tilted upward, it proclaims honor and blessing to their godhead, Kabunyan. Second, if arms are positioned down diagonally with fingers wrapped together while placing downward to the ground, it means reverence for the dead ancestors. Fingers wrapped together manifest unity and kinship in the midst of them. Traditional song. Bagbagto is a folk song from the Ibaloy tribe. The song is usually sung in rock throwing tradition of the Ibaloy. The lyric of the song holds no meaning in the modern language of the Philippines. Togon traditional dance. Tayo dance is an expression of the feast, joy, or celebration. A man and a woman dance in the different part to the rhythm of the gong. The man dances with blankets dropped over his shoulder. The women dances the sarong wrapped with the blanket. The movements of the arms while performing tayo for the people have meanings or interpretations. Spreads arm like an eagle means independence and freedom. 
Hands palm upward symbolizes space to kabunyan. Arm palm downwards respect to the dead ancestors keep on the ground. Fingers close together symbolizes unity and close relations. During the tayo, the male portrays bravery and self-confidence. The female portrays meekness and submission. During the tayo from time to time, the dancer looks up in the sky and looks down the ground. It's a supplication for a fertility and bountiful harvest. Traditional Song Sali Dumai Song plays a significant part in the lives of the young people who love the mountains of the Cordillera. Young women embrace or deny a man who courts his song as part of tradition. They sing with melodies that convey their true feelings to the man who wooed them. It's a common song among the ethnic groups. Mangkayan has a dance called Daing. It is a chant and dance performed during a bignas or a community ritual or bias kana or healing kana, wherein men and women are debating on an issue while doing a grapevine step and chanting. It could also be an alternate expression of their feelings of love to entertain others and at the same time enjoy dancing. To continue the discussion, this is Miss Patricia. The CC with recording was published on YouTube by the Simple Tone, a Kalinga-based channel in 2017. It began to receive views after a slow initial uptake before garnering more and more shares as time went on. It moved everyone in the Igorot and Cordillera who took pride in the fact that a native song was making it to the mainstream media. It also touched music enthusiasts. Based on what Miss Patricia said about the Sioux Civic song, I think it is still popular today, particularly in Kalinga and other places like Cagayan. Uh, I used to hear one of our neighbors uh, in Cagayan playing it early in the morning. That is also why I think it continues to remain popular and also because the song portrayed the rich culture and the land of the Cordillera. Cordillerans living abroad also experience nostalgia when listening to it. Additionally, the last time I was in Kalinga, it was for a wedding and a birthday celebration for one of our relatives. The guests who had been invited to the event would ask for the Sioux Civic song to be played, after which another guest would be invited to dance in the middle and the others would voluntarily move there to join them. It literally means bird in the Kalinga language. Over 2 million people heard the Sisiwit song in 2019, and that number is rising. Due to its growing popularity, several regional musicians and artists have created their own covers. Even the most well known Ilkano band, the 4 DK duo, created its own version. As a result, Sisiwit gained more recognition in the Ilocos region. Mr. Hilir Wakdagan, a native of the Kalinga municipality of Tanudan, is the song's original performer and composer. So that concludes our quick trip to Benguet. Hope you had fun and learned more about the traditional songs and dances here 